impromptu Saturday video. Yo, what is up everybody? We're going to be looking at Scorpion and Black Cat's uh, animations. Also, um, you can probably see in shot, which is there, there's a mystery box, which somebody put me in contact with. Shout out to Mark. Uh, we're going to be opening that mystery box up in, um, I think, Monday's MCN. So come on by on Monday and I'll open up a box. What will I have in it? What is it all about? Find out on Monday. Fun. Right, what have you got to react to today, Richard? Well, we've got this, which is a Black Cat and Scorpion animation thing. I do like these animations. I do miss, miss motion comics because it's all about like chain, uh, like telling the story, which I assume this is to be the heist sort of, at least temporal heist, uh, but still it's really cool to see these champions being displayed in a certain manner as well because you see some kind of like decent animations and you also get to see here like the special attack. So this is the gameplay and action of the champion's movements, which is incredibly important because these champions have the greatest of builds to them. The best team that Kabam have at the moment is the animation team, especially when they're producing stuff like this, where you can just go, look, we're in safe hands if they're building, put in new characters and champions, and they move fantastically. The movement as well, there's something that myself and Dan are going to talk about a bit on Sunday, which I'm going to, I'm just, before we kind of like play anything, is this here. One thing that Kabam do pretty well is the way that they kind of develop movements of champions and especially things like tails, hair, like we've got with Medusa. I'm just going to see if we can slow down this a little bit. So we put it down to a, uh, what, 0 0.5 speed. And just kind of the way that the movements are... Um, oh, that's a little bit disappointing then. So, okay, good news is special attacks, you do get the tail movements. Bad news is the basics look like they are non-tail usage. This was something that, uh, well, let's have a look. Just again, just slow it down. So first of all, yes, there's a tail movement on a basic. So, okay, good, I take that back. But it looks like a lot more of the tail movements and tail damage look to be uh, situated in the uh, the special attacks. So that's good. We slowed it down there. Again, with the basics, that we've got that um, uh, tail swish. And as well, more tail usage and uh, the firing of some kind of like, well, I seem to be like a poison of some description. So it could be a bit like uh, King Groot to a degree, where he kind of breathes all that kind of poison, or any other champion that would use any type of, um, I can't remember what, what, what these are called, appendages to uh, to attack with. Um, although, you know, people with debatable what appendages. In any case, acid spray. Like, the third special there was Big Punch. Is he going to use the tail? Yes, of course, there we, there we go, use the tail. So that is, that's pretty sick. Like, it's good to see that Kabam are kind of looking to build in those elements uh, to each individual champion. I mean, just going back to Black Cat, because I didn't really kind of cover much or kind of showcase much with uh, Black Cat. Or oh, is Black Cat coming up second? Either way, is it a bit further on? No, she's just, it's just here, isn't it? That's, that's what it is. Let's kind of go back right again before playing it through. So with Black Cat, um, what have we got here? So this is all slowed down again. You can check out the full running of the video in the description, but uh, just breaking it down. We've got uh, swipe there, swipe there. I wonder if we'll get any bleed. That's going to be something. On Monday, the spotlights will be out, but it's a utilization here of like uh, yeah, the claws. And I think there's like, a, seems to be some sort of like, not appendage, but um, what does it kind of describe this? Oh, like a like a, um, a cabling system, like um, something, oh, like a grappling. There seems to be off the gauntlets, like some grappling hooks of some kind. Oh, there's there's some there's something to the side here, like a like a pouch of of something, like um yeah, like a gatling gun that you'd be able to kind of like utilize that. And that does very much kind of speak of what Black Cat is like, you know, she's she's like a like a bit like Catwoman. Um she's like a master burglar, she's uh, she's got powers as well. I think we kind of like went over that. Uh just like, this is just like the sick animations here. Like, Kabam do, like, a fantastic job. SP3s look sick. Um, it's just, yeah, just great. There's nothing really more to really kind of, like, say about this, except for I think Kabam's animation and build for both these characters has been some fine work. Captain Britain was good last month, and so was Omega Sentinel. I, I just kind of feel like the way that these two have been built is very much kind of, like, it, it works because they're very much associated. Not to say the other two aren't very much associated with one another, but these two feel like they could be more associated uh, with each other and have like a really cool narrative. Yes, okay, Krakoa was a narrative, but I just kind of feel like this is kind of like, 
I don't know. There's something about these two that looks really good. Don't know why, but it just seems like it's well built, well made, and as well the animation for a lot of these look uh, pretty uh, pretty darn tidy. So I'm very much excited for it. I was kind of excited for uh, for last month's champions, but uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, that kind of like kind of waned a little bit. But still, it's good to see that there is still the emphasis of the story that sort of comes in with it. Not heavily, but because it's the gold pool related kind of tie in thing, there's been a break in, intruder, there's the heist, that heist narrative. That's just the thing, isn't it? It's like subtle. I think that's the one thing that can be described with anything like Marvel Contest of Champions nowadays. It's like a lot of these stories are just subtle rather than it being kind of like in your face with any kind of like motion comic or giving you an idea of what's going on for the story uh, narrative, which is a slight disappointment because I always kind of like love that kind of motion comic to kind of figure out what's going on and also getting to see some of the abilities at the end of the motion comic or some of the things that happen. This doesn't. This only showcases special attacks and some basic uh, animations of movement, which is still good to see as a showcase and gets players hyped. I'm just one of these kind of people that would, would like to have seen a bit more from this, and especially at the end of like uh, the comments uh, in the live chat, everybody was like, "Oh, well, is that is that it?" And it's like, "Yeah, that's that's it." It's a showcase of animations. It's a showcase of basics and basic hits and um, movements and also special attacks. That's what these uh, little videos, these little kind of like vignettes and things are all about. Uh, but still, this all looks pretty sick. That indeed has been the video. Uh, which champion do you like the most? I mean, for me personally, after seeing this, it's hard to tell. Both of them are like, uh, I think the, just because the movements look quick, they look snappy and that tail kind of movement off the basic first hit with Scorpion means that both look equally good. I would say um, Black Cat kind of edges it, but it would just be down to abilities of interest and all that stuff. So yeah, a uh, little video there going over some stuff. Go and check out in the link in the description the um, the little um, the little video, the little champion champion reveal as they are. And well, we already knew what they were going to be. But yeah, go and check that out. Thank you very much for watching. Check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what's going to be posted tomorrow. I don't have an idea. There may be a stream. There may not be. I've got some stuff on. In any case, cheers everybody. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye for now.